Welcome back to Squawk Box uh, today. Federal taxes, they are not due this week. The IRS extended that deadline, but it's not the case for actually all states across the country. Senior personal finance correspondent Sharon Epperson joins us now to break it all down. Sharon. Andrew, you know, the IRS postponed the federal income tax filing deadline to Monday, May 17th. Now, this extension applies to individual federal income tax returns for and payments for the 2020 tax year, but not state tax returns or payments. States may have other due dates, and it's important to meet those deadlines. If you don't file your state tax return on time and you owe a liability to the state, from that date, you will start accruing interest and penalties. However, if you don't file your state tax return on time and you are entitled to a refund, typically they're not going to assess any interest or penalties because they owe you the money. So here's what you need to know. More than 30 states and D.C. have followed the IRS and moved their filing deadlines for tax returns and payments to May 17th. That's according to the American Institute of Certified Public Accountants. Now, you can see those states from California to New York highlighted on the map in bright yellow. But several states have other due dates. April 20th is the traditional filing for state taxpayers in Hawaii, and that date's not going to change. Iowa has postponed the state tax filing deadline to June 1st, and in Maryland, it's now July 15th. To offer relief for victims of winter storms in Louisiana, Oklahoma, and Texas, the IRS extended the federal tax filing deadline for taxpayers in those states to June 15th. Now, that's also the due date for Louisiana and Oklahoma storm victims to submit their state tax returns. Meanwhile, Texas is one of nine states that has no individual income tax. And if you live there, you don't have to file a state tax return. Andrew? Okay. Importantly, because we have a lot of folks in finance who watch us in the morning, Sharon, I want to ask you a very important <laughs> yes. question about, about those who ask for extensions because of some of the, the K filings and other things that come out later, those who, who pay estimates. I believe you have to pay this week for that, correct? Well, listen, if you estimated taxes, yes, must be paid by April 15th. And that was there was no extension there. So that's very important for people to understand. And for those who owe estimated taxes, you likely did get a bill from your accountant saying you need to pay that by April 15th. Make sure you do it. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.